Okay, welcome to Ken Tamplin Vocal Academy. I'm Ken Tamplin, and uh, you have the How to Sing Better Than Everyone Else, Volume 2. Uh, we're going to get started right away, but before we do that, I want to do a little recap of what was in Volume 1. Um, if you didn't get Volume 1, you may want to get it. No matter if you think you're a great singer or not, it actually carries and contains some of the most rudimentary parts of what it is that um, I'm about to show you. As I've said in, in, uh, in Stage 1 or in Volume 1, uh, even if you have a lot of singing experience, I ask you to, to check your knowledge in at the door and leave that there and uh, grace me with um, an undivided attention and uh, learn what it is that I'm showing you here. Because if you don't, it's, it's really like trying to learn several different languages all at once. Um, I'm going to teach you how to do this and how to do it correctly, and your voice will grow like crazy if you listen to me. So by way of review, uh, the first thing we learned was we learned about correct posture sitting up straight like this, not getting the spine tipped in any direction, not moving around like this, but sitting up correctly. The second thing we talked about were pillars. Pillars start with rib cage expansion by expanding the chest about three quarters full and not taking our breath from our chest like this, like we do when we normally breathe, but in fact, taking our breath like this with our diaphragm and pushing down on the diaphragm as we ascend to a scale and gently releasing the diaphragm as we come back down. We did an exercise, which was <laughs> which will help you release the diaphragm kind of like an accordion, right? So that you're not bound up and locked down on that diaphragm so that it inhibits and starts to build tension in the chest, the neck, and the throat which again is the next part of what we're gonna talk about. Tension in the chest, neck, and throat, constantly shaking off the chest, neck, and throat tension. This is a killer. It's what causes us to strain and uh, go like this. The next thing we discussed was the vowel sounds, and we started with the ah vowel sound. It's the la, ah, because all vowel sounds stem from it's the la, ah vowel sound, with two exceptions, the oo and the e. We covered that. Uh, we'll discuss this more as we go, but again, by way of review, you may want to go back and review um, volume one. It's the la a. The jaw has to be open as big as you can make it. And I suggested getting a vanity mirror out and looking or looking in a mirror. Ah, it's the la a. Dropping the tongue to the base of the jaw, keeping the sound as bright as you can make it. Ah, it's the la a. And having the uvula, which is the soft palate, the little dangly, dangly thing in the back of the throat, will rise as you go up to the scale. So in other words, if I go, the, the soft palate or the uvula will rise into the back of the throat and create space in the back of the throat for these fantastic little amphitheaters that we have that resonate or give us the resonance in order to make the sound big without shouting and so forth. We also talked about vowel modifications and how ah converts to ah as it goes up the scale, ah converts to u uh as you go a little higher, u uh converts to u uh as you go higher still, and they reconvert on the same, the same way on the way back down as they do going up. We also talked about bridging, going from your chest voice to your head voice and how to do that, how to do it lightly, how to build it, and when to start adding weight to the sound. When should you bridge? We discussed that. So we've covered quite a bit of ground already in stage one, uh, in the volume one, and we're actually moving on now. I want to discuss uh, and or go through a couple of the exercises that we also covered. One is the lip roll and one is the tongue exercise. And we're going to do this just to get a little warmed up first. Also remember that the audio portion is the actual workout. It's not the video portion that's the workout. So don't watch the video once and think you've got it and then immediately race to the audio portion going, I don't know what's wrong, I can't figure it out. Continually watch the video portion until you've mastered all of these little elements and start to apply that to the audio workout. So we're going to go through the lip roll just to get warmed up. gently, only enough to allow the lips to vibrate as though we were holding a candle in front of our lips and not blow out the candle to only allow that much air to pass across the cord. 
lick the lips if necessary if they stop vibrating and don't do this to actually you know get your lips to, to to do the burble because it's actually a pseudo way or a manufactured way of doing it it will come but you want the face to be relaxed so you want to be able to do this exercise it's not critical if you can't but it's great if you can take your breath sit up straight tongue exercise in a minute. Berries, tenors, contraltos, altos. You'll be singing in approximately the same register. So you're singing with me. Sopranos, you're actually going to be singing the octave above everything I'm doing. And your vowel modifications will happen exactly one octave above what I'm doing here for the tenors and the berries. So and the contraltos, altos. So let's do the tongue exercise. We discussed this. Mm, it's like a feeling there's a ball in the back of your throat, like you're singing the ah vowel. La. Um, mm. I covered this in volume one. in volume one around the E F F sharp you're going to start to want to feel like you want to transition into your head voice if you're a tenor and very um, I'm going to ask you now at this point since you've been working volume one for a while to try to stretch that transition don't hand it off to the head voice quite so quickly I want you to actually start to build up build more strength in the mid voice so that you're using your chest voice farther up the scale before you start to migrate and mix to the bridge or the passaggio, the passageway from your chest into your head. So stay with the chest voice even still. And right here, start to release into your head voice, but I don't want to hear the yodel or the speed, but I don't want to hear, I want to hear.
great.